Hey, what's going on guys? Tony here, CCXRC, and boy has it been a busy week, and we're just getting around to putting up some videos. I've uh, doing, been doing a lot of work here on things, so you're going to get things the way they are. My desk here is kind of in disarray, uh, just projects going on, got some that I'm going to work on tonight, and so it all comes with it. So uh, you get to see the 3D printed drone, but you also get to see the mess of everything else I've got going on. So. Uh, this is the Quad Witch. I picked this up at Thingiverse. I printed it on the new 3D printer that I have. It's a 180 size frame. Um, I got a nice uh, Fox Seer camera on there. Um, some Emax 1806 motors and uh, Fox Seer SP Racing F3 flight control board. I don't know uh, what the power distribution is. And it's running an Eosheen VTX. And uh, I don't know what else you want to know. I've got some uh, little B, BL Heli S 20 amp ESCs that are powering this as well. So that's kind of just a quick look around it. But I just want to show you guys, I've got a little bit of footage uh, from this, from the flights that I've done with it. I have noticed that I probably needed to print the thinner or the smaller uh, spacer here between the frame, uh, the top and bottom plates, because the motors barely sit above if you can see that they are barely above the frame and uh, I they're so wide as well that I just feel like I lose a lot of lift because there's not a lot of air underneath these to push but maybe I'm wrong but uh, yeah I don't feel like I have a ton of lift with this it flies all right I'm uh, much more comfortable with this one in the self-leveling mode which is not how I fly my blade Conspiracy 220. I pretty much only fly that in acro slash rate mode and um, So th this is a little bit harder to control. It's a little it's pretty heavy and so uh, It's it's fun to fly. It's smaller. I can kind of whip it around in the backyard uh, But I, I have found that when you crash hard it will break uh, Especially this top plate because your battery straps right into it there and it's thin and all the weight of that battery pull in can bust this top plate, uh, which luckily is easy to print a new one, but um, that has been something I've noticed uh, is gonna be a problem. So uh, it was one of those things I just wanted to test it. I wanted to try and see how it did. Um, so I'll leave you guys with some of the footage from this.
All right, guys, as you can see, I dropped it pretty hard. I was trying to front flip in it. It didn't really want to right itself very well. It kind of got off kilter, and these small props don't have much uh, lift to them. And I'm guessing, too, with this wide of a frame, maybe, that even the air that is pushing is less. I don't know. Uh, these are, like, sitting pretty much right on the frame. These props don't have much clearance. So I don't know if that affects the lift at all. But uh, hard crash. You can see what happened. Pretty much just busted the top part of the plate off. And it broke out the, uh, the uh, VTX or the camera mount. So all of this is pretty easy to fix and print. I knew this was pretty thin already. And uh, so it's not surprising that it broke like this. But the main part of the frame is perfect so uh, this is all going to be very strong just the top plate is going to be what i'm going to have to worry about so we'll print off a new one and get her back up and running